What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking back in from Busch Gardens, Tampa Bay. And today is a special day as it's media day for Serengeti Flyer. There's a lot to see and do. Let's go. All right, so we're in the park walking over to Serengeti Flyer. Nobody's here. It's about uh, 7.30 in the morning, but we're close. We're almost there. And we're here. There's one of the signs for Serengeti Flyer. It's kind of weird having uh, no work walls. It's been that way for years, but we're going in. The ride is right there. So far, area looks pretty nice. Get an awesome view of Cheetah Hunt over there with the water portion. And ta-da! Serengeti Flyer. And they do have a test seat out front too. Height check, 48 inches, and test seat. So I know you guys have an interview afterwards, so we'll do it. So we have a quick queue area over here and general entrance over here. While you're waiting in the queue, they have this little sign here. With an X, you gotta wait. The green arrow, and go ride. Please pull down on your restraint bar and secure it firmly to your body. During your ride, please remain seated. So we are here at Busch Gardens, Tampa Bay. Please pull about down to ride your Serengeti Flyer. And for me. Big swing ride. So if you were ever a little kid or even adult riding in swings and you felt like you were gonna like fall out at the very top, platform clear, uh, starting ride. You're gonna get that same weightless feeling.
So good G-forces, good speed, tons of airtime on this thing. I mean, I'm just flying up out of the sea, guys. Uh, I'm so thankful to have a nice fly right here at Bush Gardens. Good stuff. So that was a good ride. You like it? Yeah. That was, that was a lot of fun. There was a lot of airtime on that. It was a long ride. It was a long swing. I know. Platform clear, starting right. So it's review time. Just had a chance to do Serengeti Flyer. Awesome, awesome flat right here at Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. In fact, it's one of the most intense screaming swings from SNS that I have ridden. Uh, good airtime, good speed, good G forces. I mean, the G's were putting you into the back of the seat, and at the very highest point of the ride, I was getting ejector airtime out. Uh, about a minute and 30 seconds for the ride time, which is a very long ride cycle, at least for these uh, screaming swings. And uh, personally, I think it is the best scream and swing I've had a chance to do anywhere in the world. Uh, Bush Gardens has a winner here. They really needed a good flat attraction and uh, family attraction while still providing some thrills. And uh, Serengeti Flyer does just that. So uh, I'm gonna hop on a couple more times. I've already got three rides on it. Let's do some more. Kind of a neat little nod to Rhino Rally. We have some tires right here. that used to be for the attraction. Platform clear, starting right.
clear starting right. guys it is interview time and we have Andrew here good to see you Andrew how you been good how are you good so we have this amazing swing ride behind you called Serengeti Flyer can you tell me about it yeah so Serengeti Flyer is the world's tallest and fastest ride of its kind it's hundred and five feet tall gets up to 68 miles per hour and the swing height is about hundred and thirty five feet so what that means is it's above the actual horizontal 90 degrees so it gets up to about 115 degrees at its peak now i gotta say when i rode i was getting tons of airtime with this thing and it was a really long ride cycle was that part of your plan for this attraction is to give kind of a, a longer ride cycle for the guests or what are we looking at yeah so it does have a pretty long ride cycle it's about a minute and a half ride long uh, we do have the ability to adjust that if we ever want to in the future we can actually raise or lower the quantity of swings uh, but we felt that this amount of swings was just right. I agree, actually. And it's kind of neat that you reuse this area. What was this area formerly? So this was formerly the Rhino Rally area of the park. So um, when we closed Rhino Rally, it's just been kind of closed back here for a while. We reused a little bit of it for Cheetah Hunt. And then now we're reusing a big portion of it, including Q House, for this new attraction. Okay. Now, of course, you guys are known for your big league th throw rides. This is no different. It's just more or less for family. Uh, can you tell me about the impact this ride is going to have on your park, though? Yeah, definitely. This is still definitely a thrill attraction for our park. It's kind of geared to the family, a little bit younger adult, up and, and, and up, right age range, 48 inch height requirement. But this attraction is going to kind of fill, fill a little bit of the void for having a flat ride in the park. Very nice. Now, the color scheme is it's wild, <laughs> to, to say the least. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about why you, go, uh, why you chose some of the colors and the way that it looks with some of the theme elements? 
So really the theme was just kind of based around a little bit of uh, some African culture that we brought into it. Um, so that's where you get a lot of the patterning and everything that's on the attraction, a little bit over here at the entrance. Um, and really that's, that's really the main theme behind this. Very awesome, Andrew. And I actually want to go catch another ride. It's so good. You definitely so, should. Try both sides. Uh, both sides? <laughs> Which one is your favorite? Uh, I like actually the side facing the Serengeti. So okay. You can see a little bit out in the Serengeti some areas that you don't typically see. If you look sideways, you can see the elephant pool in the back, which you don't typically get to see. Um, so there's a lot of really cool visuals from this attraction. So basically, ride it over and over and over and over again. You're going to get all sorts of views. <laughs> of course. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, guys, that's going to do it for our video here from Bush Gardens Tampa Bay for Serengeti Flyer. Do you want to say thank you to the park for inviting us out? Had a ton of fun, ended up getting like nine rides on the thing. Amazing airtime, good G-forces, good speed, and I love how you uh, can kind of get upside down on this thing. It is a good addition to the park, and hopefully we're going to get some more additions coming up soon. Again, Serengeti Flyer here at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay is a winner. And we're going to have more videos, so if you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, Midway Mayhem. And I'll see you out on the Midway, guys. Bye.